One of the problems that many Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 players experience from time to time is the searching for a match bug. In this video, we'll show you the effective ways that you can do to fix the problem. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. Solution number one, verify the Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 game server status. Matchmaking issues like the searching for a match error is usually a sign of problems with the servers and not on your system. So, the first thing that you want to do in this case is to do a quick check for any ongoing issues regarding Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. To do that, you can check a couple of official sources such as the Activision support site and or its Twitter account. If there's an ongoing server issue, there's nothing much that you can do but to wait until the issue is fixed. Try playing again in a few hours to see if the issue has been resolved. Solution number two, enable crossplay. Long queue wait time can sometimes be experienced in games such as Warzone 2.0 due to high traffic. A usually matchmaking wait time can further be extended for you if you disable crossplay. Fortunately, an easy way to fix this problem is to simply re-enable crossplay in the settings menu. Keep in mind that PC players cannot disable crossplay as this is possible for consoles only. Here's an example of how to enable crossplay on a PS5. Run Warzone 2.0. On your controller, press the Options button. Go to the Settings menu. Scroll down to Account and Network. Turn on of crossplay. Solution number 3, Restart Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 game. Some game glitches can be fixed by doing another simple trick, Restart. If you haven't tried it yet, make sure to restart the game now and see if that will allow you to join a match afterwards. If you continue to experience a connection problem to the servers, try waiting for a few minutes before going online once more. Alternatively, you can refresh the system in one go by rebooting your PC or console. Solution number 4, run a speed test. If Warzone 2.0 is still stuck in the same issue, or if there's no progress at all at this point, you want to check your internet connection. Run a quick speed test and see if your download and upload speeds are okay. You should be able to play fine with this game with a minimum of 5 Mbps. Solution number 5, play in different region. One of the solutions that some users share is by changing the game's region. As you can see, the blizzardbattle.net client allows you to change your region in case there's a problem with a particular one. Keep in mind that this option is only available if you're playing Warzone via the battle.net launcher. If you're playing on Steam or console, you won't be able to change the server region at all. In order to change the region, make sure that you close the game first. Once you've done that, open battle.net client and click on the globe icon next to the name of the game. There should be three regions to choose from so be sure to use the one that you're not currently using. For example, if you've been playing in the Americas region, try switching to Europe or Asia to see if that will help. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.